If you are asking yourself what in the world is going on, I would like to shine a light. I believe that what God is doing, he is separating the five wise virgins with the oil versus the five fools, the unwise virgins. In this parable, Jesus talks about there was 10 um, virgins waiting for the husband to come and pick them up. Right? They have to keep their lamps on in order to stay up all night um, and have enough light for when the husband does come and pick them up, they can go with him. But what happened is that there was five virgins that did not have enough oil in the lamp. They weren't uh, smart enough, or they weren't wise enough in order to fool their tanks, fool their lamps of oil. There were other ones that were prepared enough, they were wise enough to have a full tank, to have full or have all the oil they needed for the entire night. And I believe God is doing the separation now. When nowadays you can start uh, seeing who are the wise and who are the fools. The wise are saving themselves. They want to save themselves and their families from the wrath of God. Now, you might think God has no wrath. God is a loving God. Well, in Revelation 6, 16, talks about the wrath of a lamb. Jesus Christ is the lamb, but... He has a wrath, and that wrath is coming. Now, you may say you're starting to preach that gospel that people used to preach that inflict fear in people's life in order to accept Jesus Christ. Yes, I am. That's how the gospel should be preached, because Jesus started it that way. Jesus was one of the first ones to bring the concept of hell into preaching. Preaching was the first one to start saying, repent for the time is near. And if you are a son of God, then you'll be saved. If you're a son of the devil, then you'll be condemned in the end of days, in judgment day. Jesus brought that up. The, the loving God, loving Jesus, is the one that brought up that kind of preaching and gospel. Just like John the Baptist used to preach about repentance. But what happened is that back in the day, society changed the gospel. Society started condemning those that preached that way and pushed Christianity to a form of preaching of prosperity and finances, right? Everybody loved that one. And a gospel that is a God-loving gospel, all-loving gospel, all-loving God, and no wrath. No consequences, just mercy and forgiveness. But that's not the gospel that Jesus preached, and that is not the gospel that we should be preaching. God is bringing the wrath upon the earth. God is coming soon, and He is making separation of what is wheat and what is His grain. He's making the separation of the wise and the fools. Now, there is time for repentance. There is time for those uh, that want to be saved from the wrath of the Lamb. Revelations chapter 3, verse 18, tells us three things that we should be doing to help us kind of gain that favor from God. The one thing is to say, uh, Jesus says to buy re, uh, refined gold that was refined in fire from him. What this means is that in order to buy something, you must have money. Um, in order to have money, you must have worked in order to gain the money and um, in order to have received the money. What that means, effort and time. What God wants you to do is to start spending your effort and your time 
in trying to be refined gold, right? Something that is pure. That means it is time to stop sinning. It is time to forgive. If you are hating, it is time to start living a righteous life. The second thing he wants you to do is to bind uh, white garments. This is being flawless. This is being blameless. He wants you to stop doing those things that people may blame you of doing, right? No, but so-and-so does so, so-and-so things, right? He wants you to stop that. He don't want you to be known as somebody with flaws, but to be known as flawless. If anybody's going to persecute you, it's because you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ the way that it was meant to be preached. The third things that the third thing that God wants you to do is actually to anoint your eyes. That means protect your eyes from those things you're not supposed to be seeing, uh, from the things you're not supposed to be doing. So those are the three things. Refine our gold, no more sinning. Second thing, stop doing things that people may point their fingers at you and find some type of flaw. The third thing, protect what you're seeing, right? If there's something that you continue to watch that is not good for your body and your soul and your family, just stop watching those things and actually anoint your eyes. In order to get anointings is to get the word of God, the anointed one. So in order to anoint your eyes, you must start reading the gospel. And now suggest you start with the gospel of John. Jesus' best friend, the way he talks about Jesus in the beginning chapters is beautiful. It talks about the cosmic powers of God and how everything is placed on the plan. And the book of Revelations, which talks about the end of times, which I think you should be prepared yourself for that. So again, those are the three things. God's wrath is coming. It is the wrath of the Lamb, a loving, peaceful creature. Um, but there is a wrath of God. I want you to protect yourself, save yourself and your family by bringing them and bringing yourself to repentance. I love you. God bless you. Till next time.